Right, just having a look at the um, VX7R uh, Yaesu handheld. Now, these had a um, um, fairly uh, common problem with them. Um, these little fellas here, little filters, um, would uh, often die on them. Oops, probably better if I show you that way there. And um, uh, there's two of them that you'll need to replace. So to save us all some time and not having to show you um, um, bit by bit how we do this, uh, basically um, you've got um, six screws on the back. So those six screws come out, battery obviously off. At that stage, front comes around. Now, this little fella here, um, need to be a little bit particular with this. Um, this here flips up, okay? So you don't want to try and pull the cable out, it'll just pop out. So you flip that little cover uh, up and um, basically this cable here will come out of that um, quite easily. And um, as you can see with my fingernail, I can do that quite easily. It's, it's um, not hard. We use a little flat blade just to sort of nick it up. Um, so once we've got that out the way, it's exactly what you do is put that out the way. Um, there are basically uh, four screws that need to come out of the board. One, two, three, and four. Um, and uh, one of the things that we also have to do is that um, the control here needs to be removed. Now, they use one of these. Uh, and a lot of people have asked me, well, you know, what do we use as a tool to do that? And um, um, this is something um, that we use anyway, um, and, and this is quite handy. Um, this is an adjustable watchmaker's tool, and what it does is you can just set the size, chuck it into the two little things, twist, and uh, that little fella comes off. So basically, then you're left with uh, the board to come out. So um, just... Um, Hang in there, we'll pull the board out. Just uh, actually a quick note, um, add some clarity. Uh, you'll need to take not just um, uh, this fella uh, here off, uh, but you've also got this one here as well. So um, we'll just whip that off. Right, so there's your two little um, round nuts that um, can be a little bit of a bother if you haven't got a tool like this to get off. Um, look. I think we paid about 20 bucks or something for one of these from a local supplier around Australia, delivered to the door. So honestly, best 20 bucks you'll ever spend because you'll use them, um, whether you use them on microphone connectors or uh, on you know various radios. Uh, a lot of them use these um, style of, um, of nuts and, um, and they're a pain when you sit there with two screwdrivers or a pair of you know, pointy nose pliers trying to get them off. They, they just never come off. So, you know, that, I mean, they're so easy to do with this. Okay, so basically um, RF boards out. There's our two filters there that um, I guarantee you um, will be faulty. And basically we will take off this strip here and get that out of the way. Uh, whoops, take off the strip here. That's better, sorry. And get that out of the way so we can just desolder that and uh, make that all look... Um, Nice and clean, and put in a couple of uh, couple of new filters we've got sitting here. Uh, if I just put those aside, yeah. <laughs> and um, there we go once again. Oh, if I can get it to focus. And uh, these filters should cost you anywhere between sort of sixty cents and five dollars, depending on you know where you get them from. They're they're not um, not awfully expensive. It's just a bit I didn't want to skim past. Um, um, with this uh, cable that you've got here, there's a second spot on the board, which is right here, um, that you'll need to uh, flip uh, this little piece up again. The idea is that then gives you the clarity to be able to go in, and you can see very clearly uh, where the, um, the filter locations are then. And um, when you flip the board over, you've got one there and one there. Then it becomes very obvious that um, you're dealing with the filter. Bring my screwdriver in here, over here, and doop, over there. So um, when you look at the pin configurations of the filter from there to your board, it's very easy to work out where they are on the board. Um, now, um, we tend to just um, 
Uh, I'm, I'm down in the uh, the house at the moment. I've got a commercial um, desoldering machine sitting up at the workshop, but uh, just to show you that you can do this with um, uh, a little bit of solder wick, um, it, quite seriously, it is fine. Um, you can just use a little bit of solder wick. It'll come off, no problems. Um, sometimes we'll actually just solder them a little bit first before we desolder. Um, just gets the joint ready and uh, you'll find it comes off a little bit easier. But um, yeah, but nice and light with the heat though. Um, remember these boards are sort of micro boards and they can be, you know, sort of a little bit um, problematic if you go in with a blowtorch. So nice, you know, fine pencil line is, is your best bet.